time now for Welcome Home, where we get tips on keeping our homes in tip-top shape. December is actually the peak season for house fires caused by faulty holiday decorations, overloaded outlets, and improperly used extension cords. And here to help us make sure we avoid all of that is Jennifer Houghton from Pemco Mutual Insurance. Welcome to New Day again, my friends. Hello. And looking so, so nice festive. To see you. Yes, we love this. You're giving us all of the information to avoid an electrical fire exactly. this holiday season, right? So what are some of these common incidents? Exactly. Well, the first thing is, I mean, obviously, I love Christmas and holiday decorations as much as the next person. But you want to make sure that you treat things carefully because the peak season for home electrical fires is December through February. Mm. That is 50% of the home fires, and of that, 25% is caused by faulty holiday decorations. And one third involves trees, and trees and home electrical fires are one of the worst situations that you can have. Definitely, and so what should homeowners look for when they're choosing specific holiday lights and decorations to make sure that those are the ones to get, those are the ones that are safe? Yeah, there's a couple of things that you can do. First of all, don't keep your dad's holiday lights. <laughs> from like way back when? From like way, I know the nostalgia's there. I mean, I love a bubble light as much as the next person, but you wanna, if you are gonna keep them, you need to make sure that there's no fraying in those cords, they're in good shape. A better idea is to swap them out for the cooler burning LED lights. Oh, the LED, And okay. you can do a lot of really cool things with them. Whatever lights you're buying, you wanna make sure that they're tested by a national laboratory a U, and they have a UL rating on them. And you wanna make sure that you're putting them into the right outlets. Because a lot of outlets are not rated for 14,000 uh, <laughs> plugs. I think of, of like Christmas vacation, lights. you know what yeah. I mean? We yes. don't want to be the Clark. I mean, yeah, we kind of do want to yeah, be the Clark Griswold. Griswold. Yes. But we don't want to do that with our lighting. No, definitely not. And so, what are some of the biggest mistakes that people are making with holiday decorations that can lead to these electrical fires? Yeah, um, there's a couple of things that we want to be aware of and that are very common. One is just overloading outlets. Mm -hmm. They just put way too much in. Outlets are rated for a certain amount. And if you're not, if you're putting in a surge protector on top of a surge protector, on top of, you know, making this horrible daisy chain nest of <laughs> plugs. We've all done it, yes. I, we've all done it, but. Steer clear. Don't, just don't. And here's something I just learned. Surge protectors have a lifespan, and their lifespan is generally five years. Okay. So Pemco tip, take out a Sharpie, write the date when you buy the surge mm. protector. Okay. Because they can spark. Yeah, is there any other like key signals that we should be looking for to know that our home's electrical system might just be hitting the you know, Griswold <laughs> like limit. Yeah, um, if your circuit breakers are popping, if, mm. your fuse, if you're in an older home and your fuses are blowing, these are signs and you should be paying attention to them. So don't just look at the circuit breaker and go, oh, it flipped again. Address it. Mm. Spread those lights across different outlets. Make sure that you're using the right kind of light because they can draw lower amounts, which can be beneficial. If your lights are dimming, yeah. we had a microwave once that was not, they did not do the electrical right. Okay. So we couldn't run the microwave and have our tree on at the same oh. time. <laughs> we were the Griswolds and all we had was a tree. We need the microwave back. <coughs> if an electrical fire were to occur, what's the first thing that homeowners should do to stay safe? Safety first. Yes. You want to get out of the way. Okay. You don't want to touch anything. You don't want to try and do anything. You want to flip the circuit breakers and make sure that you turn off the power in your home. Mm. And then you want to call the authorities and get some help. Okay. There are not every fire extinguisher is rated to deal with an electrical fire. So check yours before you have the, yes. before it happens. Yes. Um, and then do not ever throw water on an electrical fire. Ooh, yeah, that's it's, a big no-no. It's a 
big no-no. Do you have any other takeaways too that you want homeowners to know before you go today? I think the biggest thing is it is the holidays. Have some fun, yes. but be thoughtful. And I see a lot of people do this one thing that, that can be really dangerous okay. and it seems really simple. They're trying to keep people from tripping, so they run the wire, the cords uh, under the rugs. Yeah. And then it can spark. Oh no. And then it goes awry. Yes. And if something does spark, if you do get that, always pull the plug mm. and not the cord. You wanna get in there and pull the plug out. Okay, this is all so helpful. Thank you so much as always for being here. And you know, we all need to stay safe, but enjoy the holidays too. Have a good time. Yes. Thank you. Just thank safely. You. <laughs> yes. And to learn more about what we discussed today and to get in touch with Pemco Mutual Insurance, visit that website that you see right there on your screen. This portion of New Day Northwest is sponsored by Pemco Insurance.